in this video we are going to discuss about the seven steps in financial planning process so in the previous video we discussed about what is financial planning and what is financial planning life cycle so that life cycle has seven steps in order to achieve the one's financial goal the first step is understanding the client's personal and financial circumstances while we are discussing about financial planning life cycle i was telling that in the previous video it used to vary for each individual the financial goal buying a car buying a house either in stage 1 or stage 2 so how it is varying based on the financial circumstances that we should understand that is the first and foremost step in financial planning process if we can able to understand the ones means the clients financial circumstances based on that only we can set the financial goal so that is the second step identifying and selecting the goals the goals we can set any goals but that goal should be an achievable one it should be a realistic i can say that i want to buy a audi car but i should think whether it is it will work or not is it a re realistic or not i can dream a lot so now i have to identify my right goal which i can achieve based on my financial circumstances so first step we are trying to understand the client's personal and financial circumstances what it mean that is deep number of people how many people are depending in they are dependent in his family what are the commitments he is having whether he is having any loan or not whether he is having any ancestors property so by studying that we will understand one person's financial circumstances based on that now we can identify his financial goals in that we should select a right goal which can be achieved easily and on time by considering other macroeconomic factors so the third step now we understood the profile and we set the goal how we set the goal we identified the goal by selecting a goal based on his financial situation so now we are analyzing the clients actions what is doing what alternatively he can do if he lost his job what is his uh, main source of income he is already we studied in financial circumstances here also based on his goal we are analyzing the clients current course of action and potential alternative course of action if he is a breadwinner if he loses his job what will happen to his family then what might be the primary objective or goal of his uh, financial goal that we should study in the step 3 step 4 now we identified is good and also we identified his current course of action if something goes wrong because we can't predict so that is the beauty of finance future is uncertainty nobody expected 2019 pandemic so that transform the business world there are many companies are not today those who are doing extremely great before 2009 those who are not prepared themselves for the pandemic now we are using the term pandemic the companies those who are not ready to meet the unexpected situations those people are not existing today so likewise anything might happen for an individual also so now we should cal calculate those things like what he is doing now if something goes wrong if he is losing his job if he is losing his health what will happen what alternatively he can do all these things we should analyze think that also based on his financial goal 
now we should come for a conclusion that developing the financial planning recommendations. So in stage four, we are developing a financial planning recommendation where he can invest what he can do. Just we are developing it under development process. Like in the previous video about financial planning life cycle, so by considering the financial planning life cycle, we should develop a financial plan for our client. We are going to give a recommendation as in stage four. So by considering his loan, that based on his financial circumstances, if he has loan means when he should repay his loan, how much interest he is paying, all these factors we should consider. And when the family, after his marriage, obviously, the number of dependents will increase. I'm talking about stage two. So in stage two, if he is not, he is not having debt. But at the same time, he should go for insurance. He took a housing loan. Then he should pay his EMI. Or he took a car loan, vehicle loan. For that, he should pay the EMI. So all those expenses we should consider. And then we should plan a financial plan, planning recommendations. So once we develop the financial planning recommendation, then we should, in stage five, we are going to present to the client. So when we are presenting to the client, we should be able to convince him. Say in general, what's happening? Now what private bankers are doing? They, have, they used to get the contact number of the people those are dealing with their banks and randomly they used to call and they'll try to pitch their product. Selling a house. Are you required a personal? Are you in need of housing? That is the case, it won't work. Being as a private banker, what you should do? You should develop a financial plan for each client based on their financial circumstances. And then only you should present that to the particular client. So when you are presenting, you should be able to convince him for, for what purpose we are going to do. And meantime, you should set the financial goal. You already, in step two, you already uh, develop the financial goal. So to achieve that financial goal, you are doing this kind of investment. Like that, you should do a justification. So once the client is convinced, then step six, where you will implement the financial planning recommendations, like what time you should invest, where you should invest, what quantity you should invest, right? Whether you should invest in equity or you should invest in money market instruments. So, or how much he should keep in a savings for emergency as an emergency fund. All these things you already explained in step five, and we are going to implement that. As I said earlier, Finna, we don't know if the, what will happen tomorrow. So, if something goes wrong in investments, like a person is highly risked. He invested maximum of his you know, portion in equity, but the equity market is not doing good. Then that time he should take a call. That is all about step seven. Monitoring the progress and updating. If something goes wrong, he created a portfolio. The portfolio is not performing. Then what he should do? He should change. He should update his portfolio in order to achieve his financial goal. So, financial planning process has seven steps. The first step, trying to understand the financial circumstances of an individual. Step two, identifying the financial goal based on his financial circumstances. Step three, analyzing the person's current course of action. And also, alternative course of action if something goes wrong. Once we analyze that, we are developing a recommendation for his financial planning. Once we develop the financial planning, we should present that to the client. Because we have in presentation, we should justify that why that proposal you are giving, why that recommendations were giving and how we are going to achieve the financial plan. And once it is a win, it should be a win-win situation. Being as a financial advisor, 
is it able to convince your client and also client also should be able to understand his financial goal as i said earlier it should be a realistic goal and he can't in a dream world and he can't lead a dream life because we while we are planning we should consider the in inflation also so based on that only we should take a call once the negotiation is success then as a private banker you can implement the financial planning recommendations and once implemented we can't stop that it is like a post sales service you sold your product and then you should monitor how the portfolio is working how the return is getting from the different investments something goes wrong means then again you should modify and you should update the portfolio through that you can create a wealth that is all about financial planning process thank you